Yeah. Okay, we're back. Oh, we're back? I had to cut. I had to switch over. Oh, hey, uh, Duke? Is I'm, I'm here. This is... Hold on. What's this... going on? This is Peter Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on! <laughs> <laughs> sometime in their life needs to see that music video. I will. I, th- I think I know it now, because that song sounds so familiar. That, that video is, is a fantastic video. I'm going to... Thank you, Manos. Um, by the way, you, uh, I had my head flat on my desk just because I couldn't sit up straight. Okay. Uh, I hope that doesn't get copyrighted. Or, you know, the video get taken down for that. I don't uh, I'll think. Go, that depends. Someone good. from YouTube is going to have to watch this whole thing and then find that. Yeah, good luck catching that. <laughs> yeah. I used the A-Team theme once, and they didn't take that down yet. No, nah, there's some people who have it on YouTube. You're good. Okay, okay. Uh, so, what was the question? <laughs> I got to be funny, yeah. pal. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, the TV, the TV to comics. Um, I don't know. The thing is, a lot of TV shows turn into comics tend to suck in my eyes. Yeah, that's true. Um, I can't answer that. I'd like uh, to see an American Psycho. Because there, cause <laughs> all my favorite yeah. TV shows are now comics or being turned into it, like Warehouse 13. And I'd like to see it get done by the guy who did Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. <laughs> that was a good John- Johnny Vasquez, I think it'd be great. Uh, okay, so uh, actually, still no, I'd like Power to see Rangers to happen, like I said earlier, and I also wouldn't mind uh, seeing a monthly Powerpuff Girl series. <laughs> well, I they don't... had they had the Cartoon Network series that they were featured in, but that wasn't. Well, I know, but I'd love to see it come back, like now, you know, after the fact. Oh, hey, hey, think is though, would it sell? King, I got a better i uh, I got a better Bye. idea for uh, the guy who what's that guy's name who does Johnny the Homicidal Maniac? Johnny Vasquez. Johnny Vasquez. I got a better TV series uh, to adapt into comic form uh, yeah, for him. Uh, how about The Secret Life of the uh, Teenage Girl? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the greatest thing ever. Oh, God. I know I know um, girls at, high, at school who love that show. I would give that to them in a heartbeat and watch their reaction. Oh, uh, he definitely needs to do that. That would be oh. genius. And, and Shades' his last question is, if you could kill someone off and get away with it, who would it be? Uh, uh, this is tough. There's so many people. Um, oh, where to start? Uh, okay. I, I, I'll actually, say I, it. I have the answer, Manos. but I can't say it. What's that? <laughs> he said Manos. Oh, well, yeah. That would, that would be a choice. Um, <laughs> no, I, I was kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> now I just had this funny vision of, of Captain Logan in, like, a dark trench coat with a knife trying to sneak up on him, trying to get him. Yeah, that's, exa- that's actually exactly what I was imagining, too. It, it, it's like a Tom and Jerry cartoon with Manos <laughs> and Cap. Yeah, but the question is, which one of us is Tom and which one of us is Jerry? Well, you're uh-huh. the one trying to kill him, so you're Tom. Oh, actually, so Jerry would usually succeed at killing Tom, so... <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> The Uh-oh. thing is, though, do you want do you want him to succeed at killing you, Manos? Is this a secret cry for help that you want him to commit suicide? Oh, well, I actually don't really have any strong feelings about that, one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't um, think of a nicer guy. <laughs> um, uh, you know what? I'll just say it because one of us is going to. Michael Bay. Might as well just get that one. Uh, sure. I, I'm taking the easy way out on all these questions. Oh, God, I mean, my list is too long. Should I just type that in the, uh... <laughs> Make a book. Video? Make a book and sell it. I think People I want to kill. You know what's really funny? I told Manos to do that. 
and we obviously know why he won't do it. But yeah. You should make a video response that's at least as long as this Q&A. <laughs> I'll do a video. Read the classes and read the list off. Yeah, I'll do a video, and it's just me reading names, and my subscribers probably won't know <laughs> what it is until they connect them. You should post yeah. it in multiple parts, even though you don't have to. Yeah. And now another edition of Manos reading his list. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Second, I've heard something terrible has happened. Let me just scratch that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, next question. I wanted to ask, um, who do you believe is the best character created in the last ten years? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, mm, I don't know that I have an ten. answer, but that's a good one. No, we t- I, I assume we're just talking comic books. Oh, he didn't say, so... Kind of... It, Go whatever way you want, I guess, because it's not specific. Uh, me. You're only ten years old? <laughs> well, he, well, no one knew about him for the last Cause ten he, years. Because if he doesn't mean comics, I'm going to go I'm gonna go out and say Jack Bauer. Mm. Well, I'm Dan, actually, you win. I'm yeah. actually going to say in films and novels, I'm going to say uh, Elizabeth Salander from uh, Girl Who uh, Girl who Kicked the Hornet's Nest, Girl who, with the Dragon mm. Tattoo. Mm. Damn it, uh, give me a minute to think. Here, you think. I'm going to get another drink. I'm thinking, too. You get as many drinks as you need. Mm. Uh, oh, I love that guy. He's awesome. <laughs> I don't know. Damn it, it's hard. Because, uh, again, bad memory. Um... I can think of great characters from more than ten years ago, but I can't. Um, you know what? I'll just say like someone from a TV show I love, um, uh, Artie Nielsen from Warehouse 13. He's awesome. Cap- no one knows who that is, but I, he's freaking awesome. Cap, are you still there? Yes. Okay. Actually, I got I got well, a better I one for a second to get a drink. I got a better one. Okay. Captain Reynolds from Firefly. Oh, damn yeah, it. Last, last ten years. Son of a bitch, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah. just barely the, la- the last ten years, but yeah. Okay, uh, in that case... And actually, I'm also going to say John Locke from Lost. Ooh, nice. Very good. Hmm. I wanted to be John Locke when I grow up. Good for you. Hey, boys, what did I miss? Um, well, you I missed a lot of nothing. Nathan we killed Drake. a bunch of ninjas. Okay, they okay, all look okay. like manos. Just want you guys to know, uh, Lindsay's in the other room watching the I Love Lucy marathon. Oh, okay. Good so, hi, Lindsay. Hi. <laughs> Lucy, I'm home. <laughs> you make nice plushes. You do good job. I'm going to do a new video with... Uh, one of her pieces soon, actually. Yeah, no, you told me about that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, next question. Do you uh, do you think it's possible to elevate any character into the public eye like Thor or Green Lantern? Um, yes. Yeah, yeah of course. You do it the right way. Yeah. That's a simple I question. Mean, they, they elevated Iron Man. Yeah. Uh, uh, Blade? You make a yeah. movie that doesn't... Here's the thing. Know. I know a lot of people who don't think, who didn't know, who still don't know Blade's a comic book character. Yeah, Blade doesn't even have a comic book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, he might as well I, not be a comic book character. Yeah. You know, I still don't understand why no one's taken that movie and the mythology created and turned that into the main comic book series. No, it well, was, I think they've tried, but I don't think it's worked. Uh, King, what's really funny about that, too, is is when you look at, uh, at at some of the Marvel encyclopedias, like some of the earlier ones before you had the big one from DK, um, they, they've got... Uh, they, there's there's one that I've got where they where they keep giving you like like required reading for each character, and when you get the blade, it says required reading, and then it tells you to read the adaptations from the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that sucks. That's sad. <laughs> the last thing he's been in that I know people really loved was uh, Captain Britain in my thirteen, and no one even knows you. He... Hey, no one knew he was British. They discovered he was British for that, and uh, no one even knew 
he was in that sometimes. Oh. Maybe they should put oh. him on Avengers for a while or something. Yeah, or even like Heroes for Hire. That that would be that would be a. Place. Oh yeah, that'd be the perfect place to put him. Uh, okay, next question: Which cons do you guys attend or most likely to go to? I want to I want to go to PAX this year, but that's not a con technically. Um, I am at least the plan is um, there's a big convention in Omaha in June. I'm going to called uh, um, Contagion Outbreak. <laughs> it's a pop culture expo, and here are the guests we have so far. Um, Kaylee from Firefly. Ooh. The guy who invented Ghost Rider. Okay. Steve Bloom. Ooh. Yeah, cool. A bunch of extras from Walking Dead. Okay. That's and that's it. <laughs> oh, so oh. far. Well, Steve Bloom and, uh, Kaylee from Firefly sounds like a pretty good duo to have at a con so far. And not to mention, I get to watch the guy who created Go. Well, it's Gary Fredericks, the crazy guy who believes he needs the rights to Ghost Rider to continue his life. I because uh, I've been told if you talk to him, it's insanely crazy. I just want to meet him and talk to him because it's because it, people make it sound like it'd be fun just to hear well, a guy. I, I actually I, I saw um, a brief interview that somebody did with him on on YouTube that was just you know, some random YouTube guy, and uh, it doesn't look like it would be that much fun because he can't hear at all. Uh, was it J-Train? I don't, I don't think it was J- It was J-Train. It was somebody I didn't know. I don't think it was J-Train, huh. but maybe... Was... I know J-Train did a video with him. Did he? It was somebody who just, like... And, and, and Eric told me he did it, but he had to edit it down because he was too crazy. Some of it was too crazy to put on YouTube. <laughs> He wanted to give this guy some dignity. Uh, okay. Wow. And also, um, there's a um, every couple months, there's a small convention, like a one-day convention at a hotel I go to and buy some comics. I got a bunch of trades just last week. Yeah, I do that out, out here in Kansas City. Uh, is, that why, is, is that why once a month you're like, hey, look at my new collection of comics? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Hey, I, I saved like 50%. I'm going to brag about it. I'm actually I'm friends with the guy who uh, runs the, the, the big local cons out here. Uh, we've got one in one in Lawrence uh, that goes every two or three uh, I don't know two or three times a year, and then we've got one that he does at a hotel um, a few times a year, and then I always go to uh, the the uh, Superman celebration uh, every oh, year. Yeah. My my favorite yeah. con, it's amazing. And I, I, I suggest anybody if you can go to Metropolis, Illinois, and and, and, and see the Superman celebration, uh, it's a trip. That's a that's a, that's a great that's a great. I place. I want to go to it since I'm I live in Nebraska. It's not incredibly it. far away. I've done it three times, and uh, well, I've done the, the celebration twice, and then I went I went down once just uh, just for a road trip to see the museum, and uh, I, I really recommend that, that that everybody goes goes to that. Uh, and then the last two years, I've gone to uh, Oklahoma for uh, a, a big Star Trek convention uh, that's there every year, yeah. and uh, yeah, so those are the ones I do. I want to go to PAX video game convention. Okay. All okay. right. Do do you guys think uh, um, having continuity between comic book movies is important? Like yeah, like what they're doing with Marvel right now. I don't think it's important. Uh, I think if they uh, want, I think if they want to have uh, continuity, they should do their very best to make it work. Uh, the most important continuity is continuity between sequels. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah right. that's pretty vital. <laughs> Which a lot of people don't ba- basically pay attention to that. Uh, I, I think it's nice. Uh, you know, if they don't, you can fans can generally make their own continuity. We've been kind of doing that uh, on our own before uh, this new Marvel initiative. Well, people, yeah, the only thing I, the, the big but, thing I don't like about the Marvel initiative is it means that I can't have Spider Man in that universe in my brain because they told me not to. <laughs> no, Captain Logan, you're you know not allowed I mean? to. There's like, you're not nope, allowed to think about it. That Spider-Man is not in our continuity because that's owned by Fox. And guess what? They're rebooting it, so it's its own uh, – or Sony, rather, yeah. And I don't know why I always say that because I always know it's Sony, but I always accidentally say that. That's because Fox has your brain microchipped and they force you to say it randomly. No, it's because they, they have nearly everything else. Uh, True. They're, although there's, there's some – and Daredevil. Daredevil. And there's some talk that uh, the rights for Daredevil might be reverting back to Marvel next year. Ooh, if they don't maybe. Hurry maybe. up and start making a movie, and there, there's been no talk about it. So if Daredevil, and the thing is, if it happens, it's going to be a Disney movie. 
Well, it wouldn't have to be. Uh, they they could put it in, into the uh, Avengers continuity because nothing nothing says that everybody which is being that... distributed by Disney. Sure, but whatever. But no, but nobody nobody says that, nothing says that just because yeah, it's yeah, in yeah, that yeah. continuity means it has to be an Avenger or it has to be a person in the Avengers. So I'd actually like to see a Daredevil series. Actually. Hey, Daredevil. <laughs> I think it, would be a, would, it would be like a devil from show. Fantasia King. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, next question. What is your favorite cookie? Mm. Uh, Thin Mints, the Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. I like peanut either butter. chocolate chip or butter. oatmeal. They don't love, leave me alone. They don't leave. They keep... Are, are you sure those are are they sure those are Girl Scouts and not Mobsters King? I say my favorite people were Girl Scouts. I said my favorite cookies are the Thin Mints. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm so sorry uh, if I confused that. Okay, what's your opinion on the Dark Knight Strikes Again? Um, it's not the best sequel. You know, um, I only no. read like it's interesting. It is one of the very first comics I ever got. It was really. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, I got I got Dark Knight Returns and that together. <clears throat> Those were the first two comics I ever got, like that started me in reading. Uh, I I don't know. I it's part of Frank Miller's kind of new humorous tone he takes on on storytelling with superheroes. And I don't know. I'm just not totally into it. Um, I did I, enjoy I, I did enjoy Carrie Kelly as as Catgirl and. Uh, the one, the woman Superman sex scene is just the best scene in the whole miniseries. <laughs> I mean, they made like a better, better than that one that was in Buffy season eight recently. Uh, that's the whole issue. Uh, it's close. I, it's I still close. say, I still say Superman Wonder Woman one. Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> that was funny. It's uh, close. I'm not saying you know it was bad. Uh, okay. Um, what is your opinion on the Spider-Man clone saga? <laughs> Never read Anyone it. Anyone but Manos. <laughs> Never read it either, and I'm not planning on it. Oh, yeah, that's I don't got three that, years. That means Manos and I would have to duke it out. Yeah, you know that King, expression. King, King, stand back. We're gonna get hurt. Yeah, you know that expression, the final nail in the coffin. Well, that was the first nail in the coffin. Out of how many nails? Oh, uh, too many. Three. I didn't get stuck reading all of it. Uh, I read issues here and there, and I think it was mostly toward the beginning of it, so I remember liking what I read, but that was when I first started reading comics when I was a kid, so I can't really say now. So you didn't have critical thinking skills then? (coughs) Yeah, exactly. I mean, I had, yeah, right, 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 and now I'm depressed, as everyone knows, um, (laughs) because of my critical thinking skills. No, uh, I just, I remember it fondly because it was it was some of the first Spider-Man I read, but that doesn't mean it was good. I don't, I don't, I don't remember um, uh, it at all. Good. Maybe I should go back and read it. It's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make it look like and it, it's really bad. Thirty years of comics long. It's really <laughs> bad storytelling. There's quite a bit of bad art in it. Uh, a lot of characters are just thrown in are just awful. Man, uh, the story keeps changing because they were <laughs> they were realizing it was a clusterfuck with the fans, so they kept like a. Uh, adding and adding and got more and more overly complex. And from what I hear, they tried to stop it like two or three times, but they just couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, they had to keep going. Right. Manos, were you, were you like, I mean, I know you don't like the story, but like, are, are, do you do you also just not like Ben Riley, or was he okay? That's right, like, yes. Oh, okay, okay. I was you like, are correct, I, sir. I hate everything, actually. Can take. <laughs> I hated Ben Riley. When he died, that was like one of the best moments of my Spider-Man and <laughs> I can imagine Manos reading that issue, walking out of his house and jumping all of unhappiness. Oh man, it was like it was like watching the Death Star explode. <laughs> he's like across the street from the funeral. He's having a party. Oh my god! <laughs> it fights so all his friends. <laughs> Wonderful. He was impaled by uh, it's a Christmas spider, and then flew off a building and plunged right into a car. That couldn't have been better. And then melted to Imagine death. Imagine if, 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 if uh, Human Torch died that way. Mm. No, That'd no, no. He, the Torch deserved a heroic death. Yeah, yeah, Which yeah, is right. what he got, and it was great. Yeah, it was great. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, next question. And oh, I mentioned this, guys. When can you guys... Uh, when are you guys going to do another panel and uh, hint at the topic? Like you guys would know. Uh, <laughs> we don't know if we're ever doing another one. This we thing. want to. We want to, but... Except for Eric, really. 
Uh, I oh. think we're going to do a Peter Gabriel panel. Yeah, yes, that's absolutely <laughs> right. And, and they're going to send it to me first and force me to listen to every second of it until I finally realize I was wrong. <laughs> well, we're actually going to sing every song. Our- <laughs> <laughs> Tell this rehearsal. Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> Feed you- the rhythm. Yeah. Yeah, and see, uh, Captain, we're going to sing Don't Give Up. Uh, Captain's going to sing Peter Gabriel's part, and yep, yep, right, I will right. be singing Kate Bush's part. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. But he's gonna not, to mention, not to mention the conversation of you guys trying to convince Eric why you should. Uh, okay. I'm not going to convince him. I'm just going to send a message to say this is what we're doing. <laughs> okay, this is going to be an easy question. Uh, what do you think of the current season of Smallville? Shit. <laughs> uh, you know, I stopped watching it already, which I've done. I've done this at some point every year for the last few years, and then I, 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 I missed it. it. I'm behind on it. I I've been. I, I tried to watch it a little bit, and it just sucks. Yeah, it's not good. And who came up with that suit? Who wait, wait, wait! You think it's a suit? Whatever the the thing is, who came yeah, up with that? Bad. That's. <laughs> Clark has a jacket fetish. What can I tell you? Where I where I quit was when they decided to rip off Star Trek's Mirror Universe, but do it really, really badly. <laughs> I mean, it was just oh. the problem was that was the most boring episode I've seen this season, and I was like, and they basically did Mirror Universe. How do you make that boring? Like, oh, it was bad. We're evil because I mean, they, we read the New York Times. Well, that's Wah. about it. Like they, yeah, the thing is, they talked about how evil they were, but they didn't seem that evil to me. Like that was that was part. We, of the, we jaywalk all the time. Wah wah ha. Like, we okay. tear the tags off mattresses. Ha, Here's ha. the biggest the biggest thing that drove me crazy. Um, so like, you, you've got you got Lionel Luther, and I mean they brought they brought back John Glover, but of course didn't do anything like interesting with him. And like I said, I qu- I quit, so I think he had m- three more episodes after that, and I don't know how they did with it. But anyway, uh, it doesn't matter. Yet. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. But they, so they've got so they've got a uh, like like Clark is like now his adopted son in that universe, and he killed Lex at some point, what and he's f- Clark and he's Clark Luther. The thing that well, was weird oh about God. this. Just, just hearing that sounded wrong. Yeah, and the thing that was weird about it to me is that there's no explanation whatsoever. Maybe I don't know. There were other things worse than this, but this was the first <laughs> nail. Really, was like, okay, he's Clark Luther, but there's no explanation as to how Lionel decided to come up with that name because he has no affiliation whatsoever with Martha Kent, and she's the person who named him that. Clark's a really catchy name. I yeah. should name you that. How did he end up Clark Luther? How did that even even happen? It was bad. It was. That's really not even wrong. catchy. No, no, it sounds really dumb. Yeah, I, and um, they had him, and they had him go by Ultraman, but everybody knew he was Ultraman. Weird. Uh, so uh, the answer is no. We don't like it. No, no, we don't. Yeah, we we don't have a good opinion on it. Um, let's see here. Uh, do you think the uh, Spider-Man series will get better? How so? I don't know what he means. Comic series or movie series, yeah, whatever. I, I assume it's it, comic. I've been behind on it, like, like last three issues. From what I've been listening to Eric uh, talk about it, because I haven't been keeping up, but I mean, I mean, I read the first issue of Big Time, and eh, it was okay, but it wasn't good enough for me to keep buying it. And uh, <laughs> Eric was excited about that, and then they kind of messed up Hobgoblin for him, and so then he was just like, no, this is really I, bad. And, I, I, like, what I've read of it, I liked, but the thing is, Dan Slott's just too jokey for me, and you're talking to a guy who cracks a joke every two seconds, but just... Too much, somehow. I don't know how he could do that, but he made me say, just take it seriously. Bring it back. Bring, bring the prankster back. Come on. Mm. Um, okay, next question. Um, if you could pick one character or franchise that is, as of right now, not um, a part of the Marvel Studios Cinematic Universe, then who would it be? And that means, like, a franchise owned by Fox, and we covered that. Yeah. Um. yeah. Howard the Duck, no. <laughs> oh, ugh. Luke Cage. Ooh. I'd love to see some Luke Cage in King, Iron Fist. King, are you and I going to team up on Howard the Duck, and then, like, you're going to adapt mine to screen? Like, yes. I'm going to, like, do the comic series, and then you're going to adapt what I do to the screen? Ultimate Corn Man's going to have a cameo where he gets punched in the face. No, no, it's brilliant. King, we make Ultimate Howard the Duck. Yes. It'll be amazing. No. He'll be in black leather. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll be on a goblin glider. 
<laughs> oh, it's better. Isn't oh, it shit. though? He'll be on a goblin glider, and he'll and, and he'll we'll have this constant running joke since he's wearing black leather that he thinks it's a motorcycle, and keep, yeah. people keep telling him that it's not, but he just doesn't understand. He hey, don't know. forget to make uh, uh, really up to date uh, pop culture references that'll be right. out of date in like two years. So right, right. Well, that is well, Twitter awesome. We're gonna have a Facebook enduring. joke. Yeah. Oh, uh, have him like date Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, people will totally remember her in five years. Yeah, well, like two pages, he'll make fun of the cape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, where do you see the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Sorry, he just says it in every question. Uh, in the next five to ten years. Probably well, I mean, move to Avengers 2? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Avengers, uh, Avengers Four: The Quest for Peace. Uh, no, seriously, uh, uh, Avengers. Uh, you know, another Avengers movie. Iron Man Three, obviously. Uh, yeah, because right now they're still just sticking on the plans they've Probably made. They haven't said they're doing anything else. Probably yeah. Black Widow, because they're talking about that. Yeah. They're talking about a Black Panther movie, a yeah, War Machine uh, spinoff. They'll expand the universe. They'll add more you know, <laughs> heroes from uh, the Marvel universe. Mm-hmm. My hope is that they'll again is that they'll put in some some heroes that aren't necessarily part of the Avengers. I, mean, I, just, like, I want a whole movie to be like an issue of Avengers where they're just recruiting the team. No, don't say that. <laughs> I, 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 I don't, but I just wanted to hear your reaction. And it will be written by Michael Brian Bendis. Or Brian Michael Bendis. <laughs> like half the movie, they're just standing around talking. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. And then oh, like, like, oh, like, no, no, just like five issues of that are him sometimes. My two, favorite is an two issue of the way through the, the Affinity Gauntlet pops up, you're just like, we got the Affinity Gauntlet in this movie, we spent the majority of it just standing around talking, what? <laughs> Eating ramen noodles. <laughs> what, are we, what are we doing? Well, it's uh, not a threat yet. From the director, uh, <laughs> from the director of My Dinner with Andre. Avengers 2. <laughs> <laughs> the meeting. <laughs> the staff meeting. Uh, okay, um, what's the best comic series of 2010? Uh, Manos and I have both done this. Yeah. Yeah, what's the worst? Uh, I didn't read it. Yeah. Which comic, and by the way, he spelled it W-I-T-C-H, just want to point that out. Which comic movie do you think is going to be the best out of the listed ones? X-Men First Class, no. Thor, Captain America, Avengers, Green Lantern, Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider's apparently on the list. Yeah, there's going to be another Ghost Rider film. Yeah. No, he just put Ghost Rider, though. Uh, Spider-Man and Superman, Man of Steel, or or Dark Knight Rises, which is one whole word. Dark Knight uh, Rises. I'm sure Dark Knight and Rises. And there's only one K. So hey, it's... Okay, don't, well, anyway... Don't make fun of the way he, he wrote that comment. I happen to know he wrote that while he was riding on top of a stagecoach. So... <laughs> Give him a break. Uh, you know, Captain America. Captain America so far is looking really good. Mm-hmm. And Thor. I'm just really excited about it. I yeah, I mean, Thor will be good. I'm just not a Thor fan, so I can't get stoked about it. I'm sure I'll like it when I see it. Me too. But see, the thing is, I was worried about that until I started seeing stuff, and I don't, I don't think he's gonna be king. I think it's gonna work. Mm-hmm. Okay, who should be the villain in the second Superman Earth One book? Oh, uh, that's good. Uh, hopefully someone we've never heard of, or Lex Luthor. Yeah, because he was in the first one. Actually, I was going to say not Lex Luthor. Actually, well, I don't know. Can he at least be in it? Because I kind of wanted to see how he no, is. No, he, he can be in it. I just don't want him to become the main villain right away, because that's what they well, the always good thing do. About, well, the cool thing about Luthor is, you know, he can hire and develop other characters. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That that was kind of the thing about Sacred Origin, like uh, he Metallo and Parasite were made by him. I was gonna no, say I, I I think an alternate Metallo could be kind of cool for this. That would be what I would go with. 